First, let's look at our full range of motion exercises that we employ in our lower body routines. The first exercise you see here is a full squat. We, this is our primary strength development tool and is a large part of our training, especially in the initial stages of training early in the training year. Notice the deep movements. Also notice that we typically employ a marker requiring the athlete to squat to certain required depths. Notice the nice straight back and the slight widening of the knees as the athlete descends. These are important coaching points and the coach should be very careful not to overload the athlete and to be very progressive and patient as far as increasing weights. The next full range of motion exercise you see is the lunge walk. Notice that the dumbbells are used here, although a bar could be substituted. Notice also that the dumbbells are positioned on the shoulders. This eliminates swinging of the weights as the athlete performs the exercise. Notice that the athlete takes a very big step and goes into a low position with each lunge. The next exercise you see is a deep squat jump. This is another full range of motion exercise, but this one is ballistic in nature. Notice the deep positioning accomplished with each repetition. Also notice that the loading is significantly less than would be employed in a typical squat maneuver. It should be understood that this deep squat jump exercise, as in any type of loaded jump, is a very demanding exercise and great caution should be taken before prescribing it for certain athletes. A significant period of strengthening should be accomplished before even attempting this exercise. Also, the loading should be minimal. I would say that one-fourth of body weight would be the absolute maximal amount of weight that should be attempted by any athlete of any level. 